Going away, Goose. winter vacation. Yeah, I'm gonna build a snow woman. Great idea, Marcy. And I'll make her look just like you, Miss Diaz. Cool. All right. Yeah, I want to do that. Have fun, everybody. Hope your snow teacher doesn't melt before I see you again. I promise I won't melt. Bye, Miss Diaz. See you after vacation. Know what else we can do besides make a snow teacher? Yeah, make a snow rhinoceros. And a tiger and an elephant. We can build a whole snow zoo. Right, and go sledding. And ice skating. And a snowball fight. I love winter vacation. Don't you, Lester? Yeah, except this one. Because I'm not going to be here to do all that neat stuff with you. Huh? Why not? My family's going out of town. Really? Yeah, I'm going to miss out on everything. You guys will be having all this fun, and I have to leave tomorrow to visit my grandparents. I'll be gone for the whole vacation. Well, at least we can play together today. Let's play at my house. And build our snow teacher right now. And our snow right now. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you think she looks just like Miss Diaz? Uh-huh. If Miss Diaz had a nose made out of a ping pong ball, <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, let's make that snow zoo you were talking about, Stanley. And snow angels. And then we can sled down the hill in the park. Oh, I love Grandma and Grandpa, but I can't believe I'm gonna miss out on playing with you guys. Maybe you could just tell your parents you want to stay and play with us, instead of going to visit your grandparents. No, I want to see my grandparents. I just wish they were coming here instead. Where do your grandpa and grandma live, Lester? Some place called Florida. I don't know where that is, but it's way far away. Well, I'm getting kind of cold. Why don't we go inside and look up Florida on the great big map of everywhere? Yeah, let's go. Florida, where's that? I know, I know. You do? Sure. It's a place on the map. Every place in the world is on the great big map of everywhere, Harry. So that makes me right, doesn't it? There's the state of Florida right over there. Florida is in the southeastern part of the United States. It's a very popular place to go on vacation because it's warm in the winter and has beautiful beaches. Wow, Esther. You're lucky to be going there. I am? Sure, because it'll be like summer. You'll be just like an animal when it migrates. Migrate? What's that mean? Migrating means going to a different place when the seasons change. All kinds of animals migrate. Zebras, gazelles, butterflies, and sea turtles all migrate. So does the Canada goose. In fact, the Canada goose migrates a long, long way. It flies from Canada all the way down to Florida, so it can spend the winter in a warm place. Wow! It flies super far! And it goes to Florida just like you. 
Perhaps we should learn a bit more about this remarkable bird. Yeah. Of course, the price we have to pay for that is listening to... It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. I'm just glad they're enjoying themselves. At least somebody's having a good time. It's time to put the book to use by looking for the A goose from Canada. Goose starts with G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There it is, the Canada goose. They look like big ducks. Well, actually, most geese are larger than ducks with longer necks, but there are some geese as small as a duck. There are 12 different types of Canada geese. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What's that noise the geese are making? The geese make a special sound all their own. Can you honk like a goose? I think even I can do it. Ha! <laughs> Fancy that! I'm Dennis the Honking Goosefish. So let's go into the book and check these geese out. Five, four, three, two, one. Into the book to have the fun. where the geese live most of the year. Ooh, it feels almost like winter here. Oh, winter's coming very soon, which is why this flock of geese are about to take a long trip south to Florida. Come on. I want to fly with the geese. Way, Florida, here we come. We're migrating. Whoa! They're making a bee! Yeah, but why? Geese fly in a V shape whenever they migrate. And no one knows why for sure, but some people say it helps them save energy. It takes a whole lot of energy to fly all the way to Florida. And of course, the trip is easier if the geese have good weather, too. What kind of weather do geese like? Oh, warm days, clear skies. If they have that, they fly right through the night. Hey, it's getting dark. How do the geese know where to go at night? By looking at the stars. They fly high in the sky above all clouds, so they get a good look at the stars, showing them the way to go. Oh, yes, geese love it down here because it's warm, there's plenty of food, and they get to visit with their families. Huh? Did you just say geese visit with their families here? Why, yes. Some geese live in Florida the whole year round. So when the Canada goose flies down here for the winter, the whole family gets together. Just like me and Grandma and Grandma. Exactly. And then, after everyone's enjoyed the weather and had a good time together, it's time for these geese to migrate back home. Come on, we're going back home too. We're almost there. Where are we going to land? Back where we started, I think. Look! be back home, aren't they? Yeah, they had a great trip. Just as you will, Lester. And you'll come back to find us all waiting for you. Yeah, and when you get back, you can tell us about all the things you did with your grandma and grandpa. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm gonna be like 
like the super cool Canada goose when it migrates. And I can't wait to go away, because then I get to come back. you guys postcards to say hi and show you what Florida looks like. That'd be great, Lester. That way we'll get to see a message from you and we'll get to see what the geese are up to. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I say great idea and goose. <laughs> <laughs> Canada geese sure have cool vacations, don't they, Dennis? Indeed they do. They migrate thousands of miles to find a warm place to stay when winter comes. And then they return home to their nests. Well, I kind of like it here where it's cold and snowy and I can play with Mimi and Marcy. Me too. I'm gonna miss Lester. But I know we'll be back, just like the geese. And when he does come back, we'll hear all about the fun he had in Florida. Yeah, and sooner than that, we'll get his postcards. Lester's one of my best friends. But while he's gone, I'll hang out with my bestest friend. Your bestest friend? You, Dennis. <laughs> oh, Stanley. Good night, Dennis. Good night, you silly goose, Stanley. Time to climb. Wow! That's the third cedar waxwing we've seen today. Come on, gang. Boy, Stanley, I'm sure glad your mom and dad let you come with us to the state park today. Yeah, it's really cool out here. I'll say. It looks the way I always imagined the world looked a million years ago. Hey, maybe we'll run into some dinosaurs. I know. Why don't you pretend we're dinosaurs? Like this. I'm an Allosaurus. Look at me. I'm a Brontosaurus. Ooh, listen to the noise you're making. You sound like a couple of dinosaurs. <laughs> Stanley? Thanks. I think you and Lester are natural-born hikers. I really love hiking. I could do it all day long, and I never, ever get tired. That's good to hear. So, I guess you're both warmed up and ready for our big challenge. Big challenge? What big challenge? The four of us are going to climb Mount Honey Hut. Isn't she a beauty? You're kidding! You really want us to climb that? Right to the tippy top. Are you boys game? Uh, but isn't it kind of steep and rocky and bumpy? I know it looks that way. Well, the first time I climbed Mount Honeyhut, I think I was even younger than you are. Really? You were? Then I bet I can climb Mount Honeyhut too. It looks easy. Here, Lester, watch Dennis. Hey, uh, Stanley? Maybe you better slow down a little there. Uh... It's okay. I'm doing fine. Just look at me. Then I'll be at the top in no time. Ah, ah, ah! Stanley, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, why don't you two take a short breather before we head up? There's some amazing tree fungus over there that I'd love to get some pictures of. We're sunk. There's no way we can ever climb that mountain. It's too steep. Maybe we could build an airplane and fly to the top. Hey! I wish there was an escalator that could carry us up. I bet 
a donkey could carry us up. Well, it's interesting you mention that. Because when it comes to carrying things up tall mountains, there's an animal who's better than anything else. The yak. Maybe we should try looking up yak in the... Don't say it! Please? Don't worry, Dennis. We left Harry and Elsie back at home, remember? Yeah, so you don't have to worry if I say... The Great Big Book of Everything. Of everything. Of everything. Well, what do you know? Sorry we're late. It's the Great Big Book of Everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. Just when you think it's safe. Wow, we need to reach the mountain's peak. It's a yak we need to see. Okay, let me see now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Y is for yak. Wow, are those yaks? They all look like big hairy haystacks. Yeah, how are you supposed to tell which way is the front and which is the back? Well, I bet we'll find out once we get there. Are you ready? Let's go! Five, four, three, two, one. Into the book to have some fun! Yay! Wow! Where are we? In a mountainous place called Tibet. Tibet's in Central Asia, near the southwest part of China. See? Hey, look! Is that a yak? Yeah, it looks like a really big, really hairy ox. <laughs> You're not far off, actually. The yak is related to the ox and the cow. But this is the domesticated yak we're talking about. The kind that's been kept and tamed by people for thousands of years. I mean, wild yaks keep far away from people. Really? You bet. But to find them, we'll have to look even farther up the mountains. Look! Dennis is right! I bet those are wild yaks way up there. This sounds like a job for the stanoscope. Wow! Those are wild yaks, right, Dennis? They certainly are, Stanley. Really? How can you tell? One way you can tell the difference between a wild yak and a domesticated one is that the wild yak is larger and has much longer horns. It's a little taller than your mom, Lester. Uh -oh. Wow, that's cool. Yaks are some of the very best climbers in the world. How come, Dennis? What do you think you'd need to climb steep and rocky mountains all day? Um, really strong legs? And maybe a big, strong back like a football player. Good ideas. So which animal do you think would be best at walking up a mountain? A yak? A walrus? Or a duck? I guess the yak would. It's got strong legs and a sturdy back. You're absolutely right. <sighs> kind of cold out here. Yaks may be strong, but don't they get kind of chilly standing around all day? Glad you asked. The yak has one terrific weapon against the cold, and that's its fur. Yak hair is amazingly thick and warm, and can keep a yak warm even when it's 40 degrees below zero. Wow! If we had hair like that, we wouldn't ever have to wear sweaters or hats ever again, no matter how cold it got. But long hair doesn't help the yak climb, does it? Yeah, what's the secret? Let's watch. First of all, all yaks have really good balance. And yaks always go slowly and steadily. Stanley, not like you. You tried to run up the mountain, remember? And yaks are always careful to watch where they're going and to see where they're putting their feet. Hey, that's what we did when we crossed the river. Remember, Lester? Yeah, because if you don't look to see exactly where each stone is, you'll fall in. <laughs> but it sounds to me like you two already know how to do it. Slow and steady does the trick. You're right. So let's go back and see if we can climb old Mount Honey Hut. Yeah, let's do it! So, are 
you boys rested up? Care to tackle Mount Honey Hunt? Um, I guess so. How about you, Lester? Um, I guess so. Listen, boys, I know just how you feel. If you see a mountain and it looks too high to climb, break it down to one step at a time. Come on, boys. I know that you can make it. It's not too high to climb. Just take it down to one step at a time. And step by step, up the hill we'll go. You can do it. Step by step, up the hill we'll go. I know it looks far, but if you just put one foot in front of the other, we'll be there in no time. Hey, let's try it like this. Left foot, right foot, up the hill we go. Left foot, right foot, we're on the road. What do you say, boys? Hey, that's not so bad. Why don't you do it with us? Left foot, right foot, up the hill we go. Left foot, right foot, we're on the road. did a great job. Thanks. Thanks. We took it step by step. Just like a yak. And wasn't it worth it? Yep. This is the coolest thing I ever did in my whole life. <sighs> Boy, I'm so tired. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Well, I'm not surprised. You climbed Mount Honey Hat all by yourself. I'm exhausted, and I didn't even walk. It was a great day, wasn't it? I'll say. Today we learned some amazing things about the yak. And I learned that if you want to do something big, like climb a mountain, you shouldn't rush. Slow and steady is the way to go. Yes, a pretty good lesson. As a matter of fact, it reminds me of the time when I... Stanley? Stanley? Are you still awake? Well then, good night, my little mountain climber. When you come through the door, don't leave a messy floor. Just remember that you've got to wipe your paws. It isn't such a chore. Just remember that you've got to wipe your paws. When you come in the door, don't leave a messy floor. Just remember that you've got to wipe your paws. Stay tuned for Guess How Much I Love You, coming up on Disney Junior.